and that's when it jumps up, doesn't it? Alright, let's have a look. Um, close that. Close that. What's killing my CPU? Only those. I mean, oh, it's killing it. It wasn't. This is just me testing my streaming capability. <laughs> uh, hey, Doctor Lord Stinky Butt the Butler, your name's getting more difficult to remember. Um, yeah, I'm. Well, this one was going to be just a short test one because my last last stream I only did Twitch, and. It was still, you know, hitting 97 to 100 percent of my CPU usage for the game um, and OBS together. Well, I was I tried Twitch's beta, and that's why I just decided to do Twitch alone. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think on maybe if I drop the game video um, video down. I mean, I don't really want to, but, oh my god, I mean, I could make it full screen, let me just see if that does anything for the, it did drop the CPU a lot, and now it's sort of back up again, hang on, how are you doing today anyway, man? This could be the way to do it. Now, can I... See, I can't... I wonder if I, like... You know, turned off shadow quality. Because I don't want to... I don't want to be playing on too fucking small a screen, I know that much. <laughs> yeah, not too bad, man, not too bad. Um, I don't know, this, this game's kind of interesting. I'm going to... I'll download part one um, that I just streamed from Twitch and upload it to YouTube at some point. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, it is interesting. Is this? Yeah, it is going to Limey Place Games. Cool. Um, yeah, kind of an kind of an interesting game. Frame rate limit. Oh, I could do that. All right, frame rate limit. Just seemed to drop everything. All right. No. Oh, back up again. You know, it's friggin' ridiculous. Let's do... I've been, like, looking up online trying to work out how to do this. Yeah, no worries, man. I'm, I'm learning it too. Like, I used to be really good at tech, but it's all got so much more complex. Um, so you didn't see object detail. Like, shadow, yeah, shadow I'm not really fussed with. Well, draw distance for detail. We'll just keep that stuff default. You know what? Or maybe it's because it says it's not responding. Hang on. Because that's just... Oh, and it's back up again. That had just dropped it a boatload. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And just see if it... 
stutters. It looks like it's perfectly synced up time-wise. So let me move. Um, da, 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 da. I want, what do I need to be able to see? Um, do I not add? Yeah, sod it. We'll see how it plays. I think. Yeah, alright. Oh, back to it. Yeah, interesting game. It, it's had quite a bit of negative negative reviews um, coming out recently as well. Um, I mean, it only released yesterday, but obviously, you know, a lot of the uh, theme of jigs game channels get it normal uh, early so this is my dude and that we're going we're going evil uh, evil sigh type stuff just get over it <laughs> uh, <laughs> the narrator is pretty funny actually some of the stuff that he says but yeah um so basically oh who's fighting who wait who's good who's bad I guess. No, oh, I'll just kill all of you. So, uh, it's it's basically, I think it's supposed to be our world, um, post-apocalypse, and obviously, you know, mammals have advanced or whatever. So, there's this tree of life that is what keeps the world going, I think. Stops it from fucking up. Um, so... So, um, yes, exactly. Hey, Bacon. Um, I, so far, I would say I wouldn't pay full price for it. Um, but then I don't really like to pay full price for any game. But I don't think, I don't know. I don't think it's quite worth, like, it was, I think it's up for 55 quid on Steam. And. Not going to happen with your key energy, though. Oh. I need more key. Um, I'm going to kill you guys too. Because that's what I do. Yeah, so, you know, if I was going to spend 55 quid on a game, it better be frigging awesome. Like Dark Souls. Or, um, well, I haven't played The Witcher 3 yet. But, I, you know, that looks like a game that is worth the money. I bought the CD key from cdkeys.com and I got it for like $35.99. And I'm, I'm fine with paying that price so far. It seems okay. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, back to you, Dr. Lord. Um... Yeah, so the tree of life's what keeps the world going post-apocalypse, and um, all of these world eaters, which are giant monsters, have appeared and are destroying the world, and the trees dying and all that stuff. So you can either, you know, it's got like the the good and bad system, um, and then you've got a mixture of martial arts, you know, with weapons. Um, uh, I think they do have eventually like you'll have heavy weapons and dual wielding um, and then uh, blah, 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 blah. and then you've got guns obviously um, which get extra equipment and then you've got psi abilities like the fire thing I was doing um, so I've gone mainly for um, psi and yeah so I went mostly intellect to start with with a bit of agility and I'm going evil because the outfit he gave him that you know with all the stuff I picked makes him I think look a bit evil and you get to choose the color of the fur and everything and then eventually when you 
you know, like gear, you can add stuff to, you know, your hands, legs, torso, like you can add extra equipment and stuff and some of it will let you attach pouches to toughen you up. And so, yeah, you have to either, I think, unite the tribes um, while getting rid of the bad tribes or whatever and work together to save the world or something or as I'm going to do with this character is um, kill everything and <laughs> and go from there so I've decided to up my intellect a lot to start with for the side powers um, and yeah I'm, I'm just going evil but you could technically you know ride the line in between with your choices and stuff as well um, but I think I'll, I'll do an evil character and then I might play through it again with like a I'm thinking the best sort of character really would probably be strength vitality um, at least at least when it's because there's you're, a lot of the time you're fighting a lot of mobs and then one big monster comes along and you know fucks your shit up as it were so, alright, um, what do I want to do? Upgrade points. Yeah, so there's the little, you've got your dark conscience and your light conscience, and I've, I'm working on my dark at the moment. Um, how? I think, yeah, upgrade points go into, oh, either perks or combat. So I've got, what, unarmed, oh, guns, dual wield guns. This is just all the shit that oh, I've pretty much got already. Okay, basic melee. Oh, and basic range you start with, and maneuvers you start with. So eventually you can unlock Super Wang Fu um, and go from there. So what's general? Loot chance increases, charmer, biological mounts, key energy. That could be handy. Oh wait, I just want to check Psy Freak. I got Mega Mind. Plus ten intellect attribute at night. Power damage ability attacks have a ten percent chance to inflict a critical hit. Ah, uh, that's not bad. One out of ten. <laughs> Where's my fly swat? dude? Um. I've got like a net that look like a catchy net that looks like a fly swatter. Um, I'll show you in a second because I guess you used to use it when you're a kid. It has you go back, you know, to oh, at night maybe now. Fuck it, I'm gonna go with the uh, ba 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 key energy thing. So, um, oh, and then you've got biogenetic powers and stuff that you can learn which I have decided I want to save up for the mucus bubble right off the get go because you I don't know, create this bubble and everything you roll over all the little guys stick to it and then you can explode it and that just looks cool um yeah where is so my gear no yeah inventory yeah rod net kind of looks like a fly swatter you know, from the right angle, a big fly swatter. Um, apparently, there's these little things I've got to find in certain. It's called glitter grass, and yeah, that'll do something. So I don't know, but it's. I haven't seen any yet. Like, it shows you what it looks like. No, it's just flowers. It's like these pink bits, and you'll see quite a lot of it. As if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. Mm. Whoa, what was that? Oh, sweet. At first, like, we've only just basically finished the tutorial, and there wasn't really a, a lot of side stuff you know I explored everywhere and there wasn't really much stuff to do but now that that seems to have changed I'm gonna have a little look around in all this shit wait aha 
No. Oh, fuck off. How's this work now? Oh, I haven't got any ammo. Alright, fine, you bastards. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Hence the skull above his head, I guess. Where'd the other one go? Did I kill him and knock him into a bush? Okay, so... Oh, I didn't get any loot. Oh, and there's my little cricket thing. Robotic cricket. That follows me around. And, um... Yeah, he he was a, he he jumps on your shoulder when you go through dark areas, and a fucking flashlight comes out of his mouth, like a a pretty big one. It's kind of cool. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I, I it's interesting. So far, definitely. Um, let's just see if there's any more kit to pick up before we go to the uh, the checkpoint. But yeah, I don't know. On all the online reviews that started coming out, like you know, like a day or two before it released, and after I'd already pre-ordered it, um, you know, a lot of them like they they said like the open world's amazing and the traversal's amazing. You know, you can run around That's eventually. The fought. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war, or part of the problem. Oh, let's talk to them. We'll kill them later, hopefully. Um, yeah, it says the open world's like fantastic. Oh, and then when you find poles like this, you know, obviously because you're an animal, you can pee on them, and that's how you set up your fast travel points. Unicycle going three fifty. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so that's that waypoint done. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Oh yeah, and says just because. How's the volume anyway on the doesn't mean on the game? Is it all right? But you're welcome to give it a try. Looks okay. Yeah, I saw that. I thought you meant another message. Yeah, no, that sounds awesome. Um, all the animals talk weird, obviously. And then the narrator translates, and apparently that will get old quite quick. They want to vanquish the you know? as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. I agree, supremacy. But I'm going to take you guys over as well. As it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start a new. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded Ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. Can you guys do me a massive favour and just let me know if at any point the game seems to lag or stutter? Exactly, yeah, they think they're safe. But not for long. Well, after I destroy, you know, because if I destroy the other one, the the weak goody two shoes one, then I'll probably get a reward, and then I'm hoping it lets me destroy them. But yeah, let me know if there's any lag, because I've tried to set it on some lower stuff, and um, I don't know. It still seems to be like just using a fucking shitload of my. It's maxing out my CPU anyway. I need to need to upgrade stuff. But hey, um, I think 
if it ends up lagging too much thanks mate um hey daryl um other side the wasteland you came from he guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory as empty and barren as the wasteland itself he understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves but he's mm. glad you chose sometimes we need to lose ourselves in the music There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kid he can still sense your kind heart <laughs> sometimes one memory can make another come to life he hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Which, talking about Lose Yourself, I am still working on my um, parody of Eminem's Lose Yourself called Go Flurf Yourself. And um, I'm just, I, I want it to be perfect before it comes out. So it is still going to take some time. Um, but yeah, if it ends up. Uh, you know lagging having too many issues i will um i will end up just doing record sessions i think or what i did with the first episode was um stream just to twitch and i'll upload that to youtube later fell apart after Lupa Lupin attacked the old village soon after they formed new tribes based on their own values and when the blight started the animosity escalated to war the Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jackney doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, fear. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the tree of life should be an easy decision. You know it fucking is. But I might kill the world eaters too, because I'm I just I, I want to be a murderer. Runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Mm. The Jagni's destiny is to do what others are too afraid to do to vanquish past and future disillusions of unity and take control of our destiny. Uniting the tribes and saving the tree of life won't change anything. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone. But they refuse to be the victim here. Exactly. Sometimes there needs to be a culling. Which, in a way, I kind of thought that's what the pandemic was going to be. But it doesn't seem to be wiping out the stupid people as, I, as it should, you know? That might not be a good thing to put into a video that's going on the internet. But hey, I'm, I'm evil today. And personally, I think the Flurfs are a blight no on our planet. Of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. All right. Consider it done. You regret not being on their side. The only way you learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. 
claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. Your Muma taught each disciple a weapon. She never intended it for hunting, nor war, but lately the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attacks. Oh. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. <sighs> Jackney doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. I like this guy. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and consents you still have it in you. The will to do good. No, I really don't. Don't worry, I'll show you. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. Right. He can't blame you for not remembering, but he can sense the stillness of something lost. Cool. Alright, anything I can pilfer? Uh, doesn't really look like it, is it? What's up here? No, bollocks. I like your masks. You guys don't talk much though, do you? I figure there'd be some small rooms where I could grab some bits, you know? Oh, hey! Health pack. Health pack. Uh -huh. Alright, we're going to check all these buildings if they've all got entrances. More health packs. Always good. We're stocking up. Hello. Says you must look to the tree of life to know the state of the world. Says you should take it easy. I will. Can I kill you? Tells you it's night. All good hearted are asleep. We'll be around when you return. Okay, whatever. Uh, hey, pills. That's for my key energy. Bigger health pack. You found a resting place. You can here you can restore your health and key energy or just pass the time. So I could make it day. Apparently, um you get different monsters in the world when it's night time and then some of the ones that are there when it's day and night and um people that you can interact with will interact differently depending on the time of day as well. So That'll be interesting to check. Says you're a hard fellow to trust. Thanks. Says you're welcome back. <laughs> you're a hard fellow to trust, but hey, come back anytime. <laughs> Cackles 
about uh, how you and the Jagney tribe are going to strip every nest home bacon together. <laughs> bacon you may be onto something there if we can just tell tell all the all the girls out there that <laughs> all of their problems will be solved if they come and get some wood then yes <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's a great comment that's a great comment in near a way see it's different because I'm not I'm not using like Streamlabs or something like or not Streamlabs what's the other thing like StreamYard I don't know if I can do it during games to um to friggin pop the comment up on the screen you know for the recording that would be cool the other sad thing is that see the one cool thing was streaming it through Twitch it, it, it adds uh, all the little like a little status bar thing and then all the comments pop up right in front of me while I'm playing which was awesome that is one downside it'd be kind of cool if I could take my comment thing and just hang it up there type thing alright any fuck the... hey are you a shop asks you to check out the wares confident you'll find everything you need here I'm not so interested in the guns just yet actually I want to see wait so they've got yeah all right so that should be something that says the shop holds something for everyone let's have a look they're always looking to replenish their store Each vendor. The cicadas out here are sounding like the alien sources from Mars attacks. That's that's one thing that <laughs> that I don't know. I like. I kind of miss it from being in the states because you know it's it's such a unique thing. Um. But yeah, it got old real quick. The cicadas definitely. Um. I I check out Team Skeptics. Um. After dark sometimes yeah I know he has I'll have to talk to him and find out what he uses for thing is is I think because you can get plugins and overlays and stuff for most streaming software and then incorporate it but it's all gonna I don't know if it's gonna add to the CPU I've got memory to spare um, but yeah I don't know I might uh, see, I I didn't like the Twitch streaming software a boatload, but you know it does have some things that are nice. I'm just gonna have to research it all. Annual, yeah, and most of the cicadas are um like don't they? Did, I thought they do like a. A few year cycle or something or something weird I remember hearing them every year you know but then that might just be my memory uh, special particular type of web uh, stock okay uh, buying and selling etc so health regen energy regen 100, 150, 10, 10 over 25 seconds. I mean, we could sell these because I don't have anything yet, do I? Let's get rid of them. And I'll get rid of those as Wasn't well. Wasn't too bad a deal, was it? Um... Pew Pew Bosksprecher. <laughs> I like the names in this too. For stuff. Wait, what? Oh, bollocks. Wrong button. Yep. Alright, so. That's my gun. That's my melee. Ooh. Wait. Uncommon. Buzzing. Rick Rack. Rock coated. 
Oh dear. I don't know. It's confusing. Let's just have a look and see what he's got for clothes stuff. Oh my god. So, alright. Definitely stuff is going to cost a lot. So, we're going we're gonna to wait on... I could sell my clothes and start running around naked just to just to start getting some some shit. Fucking hell. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just have to earn it some other way. That's Jesus. Ridiculous. Is there Is there no door? I wanna nick everyone's shit. I think I just went past it, didn't I? Oh, mate, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay, I've already been here. Fuck it, let's leave. And we're going this way. Oh, and you can only swim for as long as your energy or your key, yeah, your key energy lasts. Uh, I drowned several times learning that. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite amusing. Let's I thought see. I already peed on this. Ah. Alright, so anyway, we are going here. Let's place my waypoint. seen any of the grass stuff that that we can get the so there's these little things when you went back into yeah this is true this is true um yeah so Part of the tutorial, you ended up going past through the forest clearing. Uh, you end up, you go back, you know, into your memories or whatever. And when you're a child, look at that big bastard! All right, we're going to take him out, and um, you learn to catch these things that will feed the tree of life. Oh wow! That's interesting. All right. Oh, my God. Have I got any ammo? Ah. You're fresh out of key energy. I am fresh out of key energy. Fuck's sake. Um, what's that? 25, 10, 25, 10, blah, 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 blah. Let's use that. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I accidentally used them all. Oh, come on. I was hitting the heal button. <clears throat> He's a tough bastard. We might run past him. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll try my electric attack and go from there. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurled. Oh. 
got it. Keep going on the legs. Whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> Shit. Really? No, quick heal. Oh my god. Um. Oh, it did use a quick heal. Okay, it just took a while to activate, it looks like. Oh my god. big bastard anything to give me no really nothing you prick ah <laughs> oh, all right um, I think it's time for me to start leveling up my health a little bit and we'll go back to intellect and eventually agility later um, all right, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Upgrade points. Internal. Intellectual power, damage ability, no. Um, that's, I think we'll I think we'll save the upgrade points for now. Equip <laughs> two different one-handed guns to duel them. I've only got the one at the moment, so I checked all that stuff already, didn't I? Yeah, we will save it. Oh. Yay. Well, alright. Um, so we're going this way to get to that place. Visit my childhood village? <gasps> yeah. Let's reminisce on the way. And Time quickly is lost pee on, on a place, post. But it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it. Drawing you closer. I feel a tingling in my loins at the sight of all of this wood. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. And it's daytime again. Cool. As time passes, memories fade. Oh. And sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you become. This story is far from over. Oh, my little kid. We're going into the memories again. Echoes of a long lost past. Ah, uh, look at him. Wind. This is back when I had both eyes. He's a cute little kid. I wasn't this small last time. Alright, what are we doing? Are we just looking around? Goop. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Um, we're a little down. Goop wants you to make it a priority to come looking for him whenever you're feeling down. He'll make you smile. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake practicing your swimming technique. Uh... 
we're we're a loner, really. Some choose to be lonely because no one understands what they're going through. If that's you, he'll try to help you if you let him. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Knowing how to swim won't solve life's hard problems, but at least one of them won't be drowning. That's a good point. <laughs> Go. Okay, you can swim in most waters. While in very deep water, you slowly lose key energy, and when you're out of key, you'll drown. Okay. I'd, yeah, I guess I'd call that slowly losing it. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? He says a feeling that you're going to drown is a great reminder of the need to learn how to swim. <laughs> but you need practice, lots of practice. Uh, He's sure you'll have to face the consequences of that sooner or later anyway. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. He won't let anyone know you can't swim. He assumes that's what you meant. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. Sun, you promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. She's not unhappy with your progress, but you still have a lot to prove. You should know. Practice makes perfect. Sure. You have to keep working on it if you want to be good at it. I wonder if answering this stuff is going to change my stats or... Uh, I guess we could say that we were kind of good-ish and became evil when our parents were murdered. Yeah. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you will never cease to grow. Wong Fu training. I wonder if I would have got different swimming training if I'd answered him differently. Let's just practice in the paddling pool. Um, I don't think Here's it's really worth face with lights on his mind. exploring too much. Asks how you're feeling today. He's learned that things are never as bad as they seem. You'll feel better in the morning. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. what usefulness you found. Sometimes he's an expert, but sometimes he just does what's right. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. 
He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Ooh, crafting intro. Start crafting your weapon. First select the base. This defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee crush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. Oh, I didn't even mean to pick that. I wanted to see what it was made of, you bastard. Can I change this? <sighs> Balls. Alright, whatever. Um... Select the handle you want in order to be able to craft your weapon. Spectacular, I guess. Since it seems like money is no object in this at the moment, let's. To craft your weapon, press X, which is square on thingy. 99 to 100. You did damage. Well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He says you don't really need a weapon when you're born one. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. I made it, it's mine. Gizmo doesn't mind sharing. What's his is yours, and what's yours is his. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. You'll continue to build on the basics. Talent will only take you so far. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's got... She won't live forever, you know that. But she intends to make the most of every day she gets, especially the ones you share together. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. She worries about you. Sometimes you get lost in your own world, where the only thing that matters is you. <laughs> nice, Bacon. They look determined. Better watch out. I'm not worried. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. He says you're right. Nobody can tell him what he can and can't do, and that includes you. I will have to beat them. Hammering that button. He's nicked my weapon. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? If confidence is silent and insecurity is loud, she thinks you're absolutely right. 
Wise. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Do not worry. Limey's always okay. Oh, I should have chose. I'll catch them later. He said it before. Wang Fu will keep your better. body in good health, and that's how you keep your mind strong and clear. Nothing to pick up. He is someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Seeing you always puts oh, a smile dead. on your popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He knows growing up is hard. And things will continue to go wrong as you become older and figure out how to make them right. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. Make it quick. He'll leave the quick part to you. You're the martial artist and after all. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. to see what you found. He says whatever it is, it shouldn't be left forgotten at the bottom of a pile of recyclables. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upside. He's learned you never know when something you found might come in handy, so it's best to save everything. He says it's about time you learn how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Ta, very much. Okay. Ooh, what? I, I thought I get to choose what goes on there. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but he looks sharp on you. He can see the rebel in you. You're like your moomer in that way. Always choosing your own path, even if it might lead you to peril. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. Yes, I made it, so it's mine. He agrees that you need to keep some oh. things to yourself, but in general, you should know that sharing is care. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. Getting cold feet. Seems you have a talent for this. Thank you. All right. Oh, let's go find Muma. I oh, know another door down here. There we go. You watch her for a bit and see how good her martial arts is. Dude, that would be awesome, Bacon. Have a good night, Daryl. Thank you for stopping by. Says being on time would be better yet. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. Ansonbara. 
You might not be ready to take on someone with smarts yet. <laughs> Getting some skills. Nice. My son, my Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. <laughs> Why are you proud I did all the work? <laughs> you should oh, just dear. keep working and you do well. I've <laughs> been working on a present for you with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You deserve it. It's about time he did something for me. Reminds you that the best way to get someone to do things is for you to thank them. Whoa. Where are you going, you silly, crazy, gross little thing? Am I supposed to try and catch him? Catch him? Gotcha! Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. It's in better days. <laughs> Thinks you could say that about everything. She hopes you have better days ahead. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. I'll be under surveillance. You should think of it as watching it's over It's clearly the Big Brother is always watching. Your rumor says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. Um, I don't want it to end yet. That's why. Everything ends, both good and bad. Rest, and you'll find strength for the body. Yep. Nothing could stop you from, you from setting the world on fire. Loopa Lupin. No, I think that's actually quite cool, Bacon. Nothing bad about that whatsoever. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt piddling will learn to dread fire. What? Oh, it won't let me run. Ugh. Oh, I was supposed to hit something, was I? I was supposed to hit dodge. Whoops. I was busy looking at the scenery. Give it a last burst and you will make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Lupa Lupin is a problem older than you. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She had a life before you were born, you know. Darker and less fun. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to die. I need healing stuff.
on. No. Oh, I'm hammering that X button. where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. <laughs> well, I don't have any control, do I? So... Oh, he's in there. Where is that? Get Oh! No, I just drowned. Okay. Oh, I could have swam that way, couldn't I? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Alright, we'll get ready for the dodge. killed my mother or Muma as she's called in this death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart a part of her will live on in you the creature is hungry for more nothing is going to stand in its way now If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Well, that was a very depressing part of the game. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. No, still just regular flowers. You can now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Go to the crafting tab to craft weapons and modify your gear. All right, can I toughen my hands up? Oh, craft new melee. Unable to craft a new weapon. Modify? Which I guess I don't have anything to modify it with. What about my offhand? No. Time to make something useful. Oh. But I don't. Oh, okay, so I can select. Okay, let's try that again. In some mod. No, alright. What about my top? If I don't have anything to Should have use... gone for a bigger size. Okay. If I don't have anything to add. 
thought there was one on my face before. And my back. Where's that gone? Let's check out weapons. No, how the freak do I? I guess we'll unlock all that later. Toggle UI, select rotate. What's all my stuff? Like, can I look at my crafting shit to actually know what I can do with it? I could run around in my bright yellow buff. I love the colours that I chose for the fur though. I think they're awesome. So, basically... Alright, so it's just it's just letting me know that I can do it then. There's nothing to actually be able to do at the moment. Unless I find some bits. The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. I know, but I want to kill them first. Give me one hit there. Oh my goodness. Oh. It's pretty interesting. Sod it, I guess we'll just use it all up. And it's spent. Ow! Oh. 
How do I friggin' Yeah. It was harder than expected to take down the Fluff Hulk. They've received news a Ronin joined the tribe's ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. Oh, you guys actually, yeah, you part of... warriors are already waiting for you at Myriad's Vespidot outpost. You should hurry there and help them storm the outpost. Mercy is for the weak. The Jadini <laughs> tribe seek no one. Mercy is for the weak. Yes, Sensei. Oh dear. All right. Where's the body? Do I get anything out of it? Piece of bollocksy wanking. Ooh, look, more more townish stuff. All right. Do we go? Do we explore? I can't actually get in any of these, can I? No, I don't see any doors or windows. Alright, main control, out of control room. That's closed off. Is this just a room or an emergency box from the old days when you needed to pack a punch Ooh. to survive? Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. Old world clonk fist. You found the clonk fist. This powerful tool can be used to punch through walls. Sweet. It can even be used as a weapon. It can be equipped from the gear menu. Found a new weapon. You can now unlock special attacks for this weapon type to go to the one for menu. Alright, cool. So, let's give it a try and see what... Oh, sweet. I can still attack pretty fast. And then there's hidden slam. <laughs> Special attack fills one of the Super Wong Fu icons to the left of your character. When all icons are filled, you can activate Super Wong Fu state. You need to use a different special attack to fill up the next icon. Okay. So then if I if I switch to that and then did this and then unspeakable hand would that fill up another one? I don't know. Um New Wong Fu. New Wong Fu terrible touch. XXY Hidden Slam RRY Oh, but yeah, I don't have Make any sure you know friggin' how ammo. Back. trying to smash through the wall or is it because I'm not aiming properly clonk the wall I'm trying I don't get it down the punch button <laughs> nice 
To switch weapons, either use the quick select menu or go to the gear menu and select the hand slots. Can I just tap it to... No? Because that would be a great idea if you could just tap it to, to change instead of having to do that. Oh well. I'm going to try this weapon out soon. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Get some bio mutant points. Right where it cuts. Wrecking fest. Make that one dead. Hold on to that. over them anyway how many did I just get all right so I've got six bio points and we want to save the, the upgrade point as well don't we okay oh what is that Notice board filled with the leftovers of used to be once. Used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old toxinol brick towns. Pay attention. The toxinol corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Toxinol never cared about the waste as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. <sighs> Alright, before we go up the stairs, I just want to see if there's anything else. Ooh. Sweet, we got something. Sweet, need something like that. What's this? Ooh, dark straw top. Sweet. Anything up here? Tempting to jump into the leaves. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. Old World Knowledge Track Quest. Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to go for the ma Yeah, I think this is a side quest, isn't it, probably? Which, side quests... Ah, side quests are always good, because... Why is why was that trying to get me to go get some extra upgrade shit? Ooh, here we go. A flush stoop seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Unturned correctly. Turn the pipe tightness to drain the flush stool. One well, from Fable, yeah, it could be. Um, I think I'll fuck this up. Oh, bollocks! That's what you could call a wet disaster. You uh. need to unturn the pipe tightness to drain the flush stool. All right. 
Um, so. There you go. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash Wood away. Stop. I have to check who the actual voice actor is, isn't it, for the narrating? And I wouldn't be surprised because you know, generally when they're when they're good, which this guy definitely has got one of those voices, isn't he? Um. Oh, a mask. You know, I'm sure he's had a lot of... A lot of work in other stuff if he's been around for a while. Pipe Sharper. <laughs> I like the names. Forests don't last forever. Oh, it just put me back there, didn't it? So, wait, that's yeah. Okay, so that's the side quest. Let's see if I can craft some shit quick now, because I've got. Can I? Ooh, energy regen, but proper. I lose all key energy. So that's a bit shit. Can I combine... I could scrap that or I could sell it later. I'd like to know what you get if you scrap it. But... Any kind of protection, you take it. Better armor, better energy. Yeah, it's more for like a. What's it? Um, I have not played Bulletstorm, no. It's, uh. I don't know. I, I, um. I like watching some of. Because that's a first person shooter, isn't it? Or. Is it? I can't remember. But yeah. If it's a first-person shooter, I tend to not do those much, really. I, uh, I like watching and that, but I don't know. I like the campaigns sometimes on stuff like that. But yeah, I might be way off. I might might be thinking of the wrong genre. Now I'm... You know, his fur's coming through his jacket. That's, that's pissing me off a bit. See, how can it, like, be covered nicely by this jacket, but then his chest is just, you know, bastards. Third person shooter. Well, yeah, if it's <coughs> Spike from Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Never played that either. Um, yeah, if it's, <sighs> I don't know, what, what sort of third person shooters have I played? Not a lot. Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> um, back on the PlayStation. I've picked up the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. I need to start playing those. At some point, I'm going to have to switch over to the PlayStation and start, you know, playing, getting through some of those. Um, I really want to start going through Shadow of the Colossus because I loved that game when it first came out. And I got the... Shadow of the Colossus Ico collection and would really like to try those. Well, you know, I think I think it was the name maybe that put me off it. I don't know what it's about at all though, but I don't know. And I get confused. So what is what's the difference between manga and anime, really? Like is manga just really more brutal, violent anime? Like Akira and 
Urotsuki Doji and, you know, I don't know, Vampire Hunter D and shit. Oh, okay. I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really get into, like, a lot of stuff. I, I watched Akira and then it was like mid to late 90s I started watching. Oh, manga's the comic book. Oh, gotcha. In that case, I haven't I haven't done a lot of manga then. Oh, wait. He's one of mine. Oh, no. I mean, at least, you know, they realise that I'm on their side, and, uh, and I was hitting him accidentally. Did you get him? In flames. bitches. Don't say thanks for nothing. Pricks. <clears throat> um, ah, gotcha. <laughs> nice. Um, what did I get? I got a level, didn't I? I think I should start doing some sh No, I think we're going to stick with health for a minute. What am I, 20 health? Shit armor. Toughen up so this vitality toughens us adds my key energy and a little bit of regen and the armor and the health. Armor, key energy, a bit of regen, melee. Intellect still adds armor. Oh, ev all of it's going to up my armor, so that's cool. Maybe I don't have to worry so much about vitality. I'll get some armor stuff going. Doesn't really do a shitload of fucking health, does it? Ups my power a bit. Move speed. I might want to do that. Doesn't add a shitload of fucking damage either. Like, you can't see, you know, it goes from 35 to 45 apparently, but you look at the actual move speed and it's not really fucking doing anything, is it? But fuck Nothing it. Nothing gets past you. Two upgrade points. Was that what I was saving up? Um, plating. Unarmed attacks inflict 20% more damage to the target. Oh, we could start doing unarmed build. Unarmed and Psy. Psy freak. 
Size spikes need to be level fucking seven. What type of weapon? Oh, I've got super super one for you. That's just when when the super one food kicks in, I guess. Is this this must upgrade automatically then because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing a place to do that. So we're just with perks. Loot chance ten percent. I could start doing more fucking loot actually. Yeah, I think we're just going to start working through perks. What's my sire one as well? Mine milk, power damage ability, attacks, F10% chance to inflict a critical sod it. I'll have to check that out. Is Did they do... So did they do a... Um, it's an anime, you said, right? Okay. I'll... Um, I'll have a look. And see if I can track that down. Let me let me make a note of that so I don't forget it. I've got a list of things to watch and I could do with like a series that if it's little half hour shows, that's what I need. That's what I'm missing. I've got a shitload of movies and a shitload of things that are like an hour long at a time and most of the time I don't get to fit that in. So I'm gonna you know, we'll stick that right at the top of the list. Is it going to be? It'll be half hour episodes, wouldn't it? If it's be, if it's a a series, or is it a film, like an anime film? Sorry, I started talking to the chat window again instead of the camera. All right, that's done. Oh, series and a movie. So watch the series first. Gotcha. All right. Does the the movie come like at the end or I could look it up online as well like you know it, or is it one that sort of slots in you know the middle somewhere I can check that out um what was I going to say I might I might end the stream soon and uh I'm having fun with this, but I also want to. I want to keep playing my Dark Souls 2 as well to do all my achievements. I don't know. Oh, oh see, I need to download my Stream 1 and. Uh, and add that to. Um, Oh, what's it? Uh, the board mainly YouTube. has posts from those that used to work at the Chug Story in the middle. In the days gone. Got ya. Yeah, I'll, I'll look it up and see like where it's best to slot it. To I'm sure I can find that out. It's the same with like, because I've been watching... Working on that Hang on two secs. The Toxinol Corporation used to run Chugger Chuggers out of here. Big well, machines on rails oh, yeah. um, that fouled the air. I'm, I'm working through like the DC universe and I found an excellent website you know that, that it just keeps track of them by release date you know because that's that's the order to watch them really you know so it's got Arrow, Supergirl, The Flash, Black Lightning, um, DC Legends, Batwoman, Batwoman, Batgirl, I can't remember and Superman and Lois and Freedom Fighters the Ray and Vixen was all the yeah lots of bits but anyway so that way I was able to actually watch it in order I didn't actually watch a lot of Dragon Ball Z um, I think that mainly came out around the time that I was like heavily into going to raves and getting pretty effed up but I kind of you know I've been wanting to watch it and I've just I've not got around to that either. Taxon yeah, let's do that. Oh. The rails used to be filled with chunks packed 
tight with two leggeds, like guppos in a tin. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. So I um I bought the wit the three Witcher games. Because I played a little bit of the second one on Xbox 360. Because it came with Xbox uh, Gold at one point. And so I need to go through those as well. The first ones, like you can't use a controller with it. It's only mouse and keyboard. I haven't played a game with a mouse and keyboard in forever. But I need to work on those. I've got all the Resident Evil games that I want to play. Like 4, 5, 6, 7... I haven't bought 8 yet because I don't want to play it until I go through everything else. At, at least until I've gone all the way through 7 because it's, you know, it's the same character. And then Revelations 1 and 2. I've got, I don't know, I think I've now got, I've got well over like 50, 60 games on Steam to get through. And, I don't know, between, that, I've probably got 25, 30 games minimum on PlayStation. If I picked up another... Well, either Xbox 360. If I picked up an Xbox One, because even though I only had Xbox 360, I was still getting free Xbox One games every month with with gold. And you know, I was going online on my phone to make sure I attached them to my account. I've got well over like a hundred and I'd say well over 150 games between Xbox One and Xbox 360. Well, there's a lot of material like that I could sort of go retro with for like streaming. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a list together at some point, and um, oh, what are these? Place waypoint, place memorial. Oh, are they where I'm supposed to? Oh no, that's fast travel points. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. Let's go do that. Oh, is this all... Has it opened up? Find the flush stools. Okay. Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, so... Oh... I, I found I found uh, Castlevania Lord of the Shadows 1 and 2 and Mirror of Fate like well cheap on CD keys and um, and they had Mirror of Fate but the other two were out of stock and I was like motherfuckers you know I think Mirror of Fate comes in between the Lord of Shadows um, 1 and 2 Dude, Streets of Rage 4 would be awesome to watch. Definitely. God, I used to love the old ones. Streets of Rage 4 is the new, the, 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 like, sort of proper revamp they brought out, isn't it? The new one. I liked when they did the third one and they had that kid on rollerblades as a playable, you know, as a character. Now, do I die if I fall from big heights? These are questions that need to be answered. So, where's the highest point? I reckon about here. Let's get a nice bit of a run up. Hey, no damage. Oh, it's great being a mammal. <laughs> oh. I remember Max. So you actually get to play as Esther. Like she was a she was a boss fight back in one of the old games, but you but she's a character, is it, in, in the DLC? Or is it a new boss fight? Oh, it looks like you're saying it's a new boss fight. And then Shiva. Pause the newest one. Basically, the same old level game massively updated gameplay and graphics. Is it still? It's still like the because I don't think it's still a side scroller, isn't it? Because I I just think if they tried to take Streets of Rage and make it, you know, proper three D ish, I I I I think that would be wrong. 
She's a boss fighting for her stuff. I can get the special thing. Oh, wicked. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You have things to do. That is awesome. That was fun. See, this is, I think, what they say when it comes to, like, doing the traversal and stuff. That there's Subnautica Station. Goop flounders around in there. What is all this? Oh, I can't really climb up there, can I? But we can go and check this out anyway. Yeah, it's, that is definitely, definitely good, a good nostalgia purchase. I'd agree with that. I might have to check that out at some point. Oh yes, I don't even know what I'm looking for. Aha! There's a pee post. Let's see. Oh look, do you see how, yeah, the grasshopper's got a friggin' torch coming out of his face now. The automaton. For real? Like, I don't need to purchase a copy. That's cool, dude. Definitely, Lots of definitely, mate. I, 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 yeah, that would that would be a good a good a evening. Oh shit! Speaking of, I got fuck. I got to work on a video for tomorrow night. In the old days, oh fuck's sake! It's um, it's gonna be the the season finale of premiere Thursday. You know, when like loads of us get together and do a do content. We're gonna do um We're gonna do a live stream but after our little videos and stuff. Um we're gonna do a, a live stream with all of us together just for a chat because um summer's coming up and whatnot, you know, they they like we've all sort of decided to to take a break from that and um So the last one's tomorrow night and then we will be back in October. Oh, there's this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped clog the surf into goo. Why clog up the surf? Toxinol didn't do it on purpose. I don't think. Yeah, dude, I'm down. I'm down, definitely. Hopefully, I think, yeah, my internet, my internet would be able to handle it because I wouldn't be streaming or anything. Like, right now, I think it's doing well. It's floating my CPU around 97 to 100% the whole time, but I think it's, I think it's coping. Um, but obviously I'd have, you know, this game's taking up like half of my CPU at the moment and a shitload of my memory, but I'd have OBS closed and yeah. So, and then obviously if it's, do I need to download anything to be able to do it or, um, like an add on or anything or, or how does that work? And can I play with my controller? <laughs> you know what? I am going to save this. We've been playing for quite some time now. Um, yeah. Alright. Uh, I'll tell you what, Bacon. I'm going to I'm gonna call it a stream. Yeah, I've got Steam. That's perfect. Alright. Awesome. Um, I'm going to jump into the disc. I'll, I'll pop open the Discord and that now as well I'll, I'll, I'm going to jump into one of my into my um, live chat gaming room if you want and then um, wicked yeah mate I'm definitely up for that definitely um, yeah that'd be brilliant all right let me quit this out 
Oh, so, yeah, that's about it, really. Oh, I never did my fucking intro on it, did I? Bollocks. All right, mate. Um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll, I'll see you in Discord, I'm sure, anyway. Um, yes, Vipes. Nvenc encoder. It does use my GPU. It depends, like, what I'm looking at. So, if I look in processes, it's using my CPU. And then if I look in... If I look in performance, it's using my CPU and my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 GPU. Which is apparently GPU 0. I've got a GPU 1, which is AMD Radeon TM Vega 8 graphics. I'm so confused. I thought... Isn't one of them supposed to... Which one's supposed to be the the graphics? I thought that AMD... So AMD Radeon's the graphics, isn't it? Or is NVIDIA... I don't know. Alright, I'm confused. Vipes, help me. <laughs> I don't... I don't... Yeah. I don't understand all that. But it was using the GPU Zero, the NVIDIA. And... Yeah, okay. There, yeah, that's what that's been using then. And then... But it was... Like, when I look at, at both, it's the CPU and the GPU that are hitting high percentages when I'm uh, when I'm streaming the game. I don't know. Um, yeah, like I say, I'm going to... I'm going to pop in the Discord into my... Uh, into my voice chat room or whatever. I'll be checking messages as well. But, like, you know, text messages. But I'm going to just do a little farming and playing on Dark Souls 2 to get my character caught up to. I had to start again because playing offline through Steam on Dark Souls 2 doesn't open, like, unlock achievements and, you know, that sucks. So, yeah. Um, I'll see people there, hopefully. And um, anyone watching on YouTube, please do like subscribe comment etc etc if you want to support the channel or check out my discord or anything like that it's all in the description thank you ever so much um for stopping by take care of each other